Kenny Kirkland, welcome to our show. Thank you. You are without a doubt one of the most versatile jazz pianists, just pianists in the world today. A lot of people know you as having played with Sting and went to Marcellus. Of course, you have your own albums and groups, play with your own group too. Well, but I tell me, with my own. you started? Yeah, with my own. Yeah. With my first record's coming out. Is it? The next month, yeah. Well, very good. Uh, tell me, what goes through your head, or what do you have to do to prepare to play one style of music as opposed to the other? Sting went to Marcellus. Now, most yeah. people would say it can't be done, but you, you did both successfully. I guess from listening to it, from listening to all kinds of music when I came up, I didn't really listen to uh, only jazz when I came up. I started listening to that actually later on, and like you know, when I was like 18, 19, I started listening to jazz. Uh, the discipline playing with Sting was more of not playing a whole lot of stuff. It was kind of a challenge to fit into that situation. I always felt uncomfortable in that situation, Ken. What does a Kenny Kirkland do in his spare time, if there is some spare time? What do you do to get away from music? <laughs> Oh, I, I deal with my tropical fish. I deal with my cars. You know, I have like collect old cars and just start collecting old cars and rebuilding them. And I de go deal with my family and my lady. And that's how did what what is, how did you get into tropical fish from from used cars or re restoring cars <laughs> to fish? <laughs> Well, I just got lonely in the house, so. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? But then, then when the fish are there, I act like there's like some people in there. I could talk to them and deal with them. Yeah, You're they're right. beautiful to the Well, fish. it's good talking with you. I don't want to use up all the time because we want you to, to play a little bit more.